I just came from the riverbed. Good for you. Do you come here often? To this bench, do you sit in this bench often? Yes, I, I do. You seem like the person to do that. Excuse me? You know, it just seems like you would. You're the kind of guy that goes to the same spiffy restaurant and orders a giant overcooked steak and eats it over and over again. Or, or you're the guy that listens to the same playlist over and over again. E excuse me? Who, who are you? I I'm Alistair. And you are? Will. Will, I'm sorry if my presence isn't wanted. I just wanted to talk to somebody about the riverbed. I never, uh, I never said your presence wasn't wanted. It's just uh, a bit unexpected is all. Oh, well, good. Uh, could you scoot over? Are you a pushover, Will? If you're going to keep insulting me, I'll be on my way. No, no, I wasn't trying to insult you. I'm just trying to get to know you better. Well, it sure doesn't seem like that. Look, if I were going to offend you, you'd know it, friend. Okay, then. But I'm, I'm not a pushover. Yes, you are. Do you have a large family, Will? Yeah, I, I guess. Two brothers and a sister. Older or younger? I'm the oldest. I see. You know, I had a lot of siblings. Got along with them pretty well. Until they had a huge falling out with me. Most of them are dead. I'm... I'm so sorry. Uh, did you... did you come here with your parents? <laughs> no. My parents are dead. I live with my siblings now until I took the bus over here this morning to the riverbed. And now I'm here with you. Right, uh, the, the riverbed. You were going to tell me something about... What book are you reading? Oh, it's, uh... Catcher in the Rye. I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying it. Oh, I've, I've read that. Are you an avid reader, Will? Yes, I, I am. I, uh, I just finished uh, In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. Ah, fan of the classics, I see. You know I respect your lack of cell phone usage. A lesser man would bring cell phones into a wonderful and natural place like this. You know, I never understood cell phones. You use them to communicate with people, but all they ever create is miscommunication. You need eyes for that. I, uh, I, I actually have it in, in my, uh, actually have it in my pocket. Ah, uh, see. Here, I thought you were a scholar. Move over! I can't, I can't move over anymore. There's no more space. Why are you being so mean? If there, there's another bench down right over there, if you need more space, then you can go to that bench. Why, I'm sorry, Will. I didn't mean to insult you. It's just, I wanted to talk to you about the riverbed is all. You know, I just... Have you ever had a sick pet, Will? Y yes, my uh, my old dog Frank, he, he had cancer, so we had to put him down. That's it. I need you to put me down. You, you want me to kill you? Precisely. I'm a sick dog. You're... That's cr- You're mad. Now, do... Do not call me mad. I'm not mad. I was joking. That's, uh... Thank God. Yeah, I like to play practical jokes on my new friends. Uh, wow, you... You really got me there. You live in a nice place, Will. I suppose I do. Two, two stories. Two stories. Yes. Uh, the second, the second has a has a game room. Do you live in excess, Will? I, I, uh, I, I don't suppose so. But I guess we don't need the, the pool table. Well, that's fun to have. The pool table's fun to have around. Yes. 
Um, do, do you do you live in excess? Currently, I don't have a home, Will. Uh, well, uh, you could, uh, my, my place, you could stay at my house. No! If I wanted a place to stay, I'd be looking for a hotel room instead of talking to you. Do you, do you have a job? What? A, a job? Do you work? I used to wash dishes for my uncle downtown. That's nice. Have you ever washed dishes, Will? Well... No! You haven't! That's okay. I never used to wash the dishes either. I'd just sit in the back and read my books. People disgust me, Will. They eat like slops. And when they don't, it's because they've overordered and can barely fit their overcooked steaks down their gullet. It's truly disgusting. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. Can I have your watch? Uh, uh, no, it's, uh, it's, it's sorry, my uh, a friend gave it to me. Is this friend important to you? Yes, uh, quite, quite a bit. Um, she's my girlfriend. Is she more important to you than me? Well, I, I barely know you. Does she know about your pool table or your books? I'm, I mean... Do you not like me, Will? Of, of course I like you. Do you like me more than this bench? I, I just... Do you think this bench belongs to you, Will? No, I just come here, I, I come here frequently. I, li I like this bench. So you think it's your responsibility to take care of this bench? I didn't say that. Is this bench clean? Yes. Is it sat on daily? Yes. If I were to take this bench from you, would you strike me? Would you call the cops on me and have them handcuff me for harassment? I don't, I- This bench is your responsibility. Now move over. Why are you doing this to me? I, I have so many memories on this bench. I, I read books and I've, I've, I've fed birds and, and you are the first person to come here and disturb me, may I add? And now you're, what, you're, you want to take this bench from me? I don't want your bench, Will. I just wanted to sit down and talk to you about the riverbed. But you won't listen. So go home, Will. You're spoiled, you're selfish, and you're a pushover. I don't, I don't have to take this anymore. Help! He help! No one's around here, Will. That's why you come here. I've had enough of you. You... Leave right now, or I'll fight you. Fight me, Will. Face me. Fight me like a man. Protect your bench. You push me to it. What? You don't? You don't think? You don't think I can? What? I'm. I'm just a pushover. I can. I can. I can def def defend my myself to you. Ah! <laughs> Thank you, Will. Go home to your pool table and your books and your girlfriend. Are you okay? Go home. Go home, Will. Wait, Will! Your book! Take your book. Thank you. Are you, are you okay? Go home, Will. 